Dating apps are commonplace these days. It's how people meet in the modern age. And Muslims in our city now have an online option that is locally made. Faisal Qureshi, he created Muz Proposal, and he is hosting a meetup event next month. Faisal, welcome. Thank you. So how does matchmaking work in the Muslim world? So basically, you know, the old school way, you know, there's a website. People can create a profile on the website, and then you post it there, and then everybody can see it. But that's the old school way. You know, millennials there need something changed. They need something different. Instead of, you know, going online, put it on the website, which, you know, hardly seen by anybody. So that's why, you know, we created something different and unique. It's the most interactive uh, matchmaking app in the entire dating world and where we actually allow our users to create a profile which takes only 30 seconds in our platform on our application and the way it way makes it interactive that if I swipe you on a right, right, you have 48 hours to respond back and if you don't respond to it, then it's expired. I know, but there are similar formats out there already. What makes this different for the Muslim audience in particular, people who are looking to meet their match. Right, so basically if, for Muslim audience is to be the features that we put it in there. For instance, you know, Chevron, and then uh, they can uh, make a, their pictures private, their profile private, and they can make it invisible. And then once they feel comfortable with other person, then they can share it. So that's how, you know, ours are different than the others dating world, the others app out there. I see. So tell me more about the chaperone. That this so, is kind of in, unusual. Yeah, exactly. So if someone is actually, you know, wants to bring, you know, someone along on the app platform, so we have that option. Then is they that can, common? Uh, it, it is a little bit common. It's not so much common because, like, you know, parents, like, you know, don't encourage that kind of a stuff, right? But usually people just get away with that. So that's why, you know, uh, people can actually do that, you know, bring that on and uh, make their profile private as well so that they can actually communicate with someone without showing their full profile pictures or anything. No, I'm still trying to get inside the culture. Why would something like that be important to, to Muslims in particular? Right, so the reason why, because it's not so much common in Muslim community that you know you go out or meet someone or hang out with someone it's because of the family culture background Islamic values and this stuff so there is like we are putting them out there but with the barriers though so we are putting a restriction say you can be out there in in the public but you have these precautions that you can take to protect your identity to protect your uh, you know yourself out there so that's why you know makes us unique out, you know in the in the matchmaking world out I'm thinking about Vancouver being a very multicultural city. Um, why did, would you say there's a need for an app like this today? Excellent question. You know, because Vancouver City in general, it's a cold city, you know, when it, when it comes to finding a partner. You know, people don't talk to each other. You know, every time you go to coffee shop, people don't break the ice, they don't communicate with each other, or they don't even say hello to each other. So, and it becomes challenging for millennials in general but and when it comes to Muslim community it's even harder because of the Islamic values so what we did is basically you know we are changing the way at how it works so we are bringing the events we are bringing uh, our app out in the market and uh, it's all like you know it's all interrelated and it's all connected well there's there's a phrase in your ads that that refers to you being your own rishta anti what what does that mean right so there is we have this old school culture the only way to find a guy or a girl through the rishta anti so basically there is a you have to get your anti to to say i know exactly. a nice young man for you and that right. type of thing all that's, right that's right and even though if you don't like that person you just have to see it and so the old school way it works you have to go to their houses or they have to come to your house and then you do this like all like six seven times and then people get exhausted they get tired so that's why we were like you know let's just take a big bold step out in the market invite the guys and girls and uh, so that they can meet you meet each other one on basis and it is totally in accordance with the Islamic values where the girl can bring their guardian on parents in, during the event and they can actually shadow them while they're in the event so instead of going to house and house like you know meeting here and there we're saying hey come on come to our event and uh, meet one and one while under the supervision of us, all the Muslims, and your parents are going to be there as well. So that's, a, that's something like, you know, we think like it's a very cool feature. It has never been done in British Columbia. It's never been done in Islamic or Muslim community in British Columbia. So we are the first one bringing into Vancouver something totally different.
you haven't done it yet. It's coming you up next month it's for the first up, time. Right, yes. uh, what kind of response have you had or what kind oh, of interest? He, it's, it's super overwhelming. It's very exhausting. A lot of people are waiting for something like this. They were like, wow, this is something we wanted to have in our city. Because uh, other cities, they have it very dissimilar, but it's, it didn't work out. But ours, we being uh, like, you know, totally, uh, we have an app and the events structure. So a lot of people is like, you know, encouraging us and a lot of people actually do sign up. One thing for sure, we wanted to keep it limited seats, right? So their tickets are like, you know, they, we put the ticket just to make sure like, you know, we keep you're, it. You're serious about this? You're serious about it. Yeah. Otherwise, if it is free, it gets abused. So that's why a lot of people are like, you know, signing up. I see. So ultimately, what do you see for the future of your app in Greater Vancouver? Oh, we wanted to have it, you know, in every Muslim person's hand. Yeah, number one app and the events as well. Faisal, so nice to meet you. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming Thanks in. Thanks for having me. Nice, fantastic. And then you've got.